Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Public News Podcast. I'm here with Forrest Lawn. I got Joe and Lev here. Guys, this is coming off stage, man. It's a great show, dude. Great Thanks, show, man. dude. We're you guys pumping. are fucking killing it, dude. Thanks, man. It's the first time seeing you guys, and I was just like, wow, this is bad- badass, bro. So, okay. yeah, introduce you yourselves, man. I'm Joe from Monrovia, California, and this is... I'm Lev from Austin, Texas. I, I play in. drums. Lev sings. I sing Forrest Lawn. I've been living in... Uh, Los Angeles for about seven years now, but I'm, I'm a Texas boy. But uh, met Joe out in California. It brought me into Forest Lawn, and uh, you know the rest is history. It's it's been it's been great. But how long how long Forest Lawn been together? Forest Lawn's been doing our thing for about I'd say five years now. Right on. Yeah. But the beginning was a bit of a struggle to find other band members. Me and the guitar player Brett, who's not with us right now, he's not dead. He's just not in the room. He's uh. <laughs> Me and him started the band and wrote some songs together and just, you know, struggled to find other band members. We found another band member, Jeff, who was amazing. He started us off, and he decided to go a different direction. So we were left with just the original two again, and that's when I, I was thinking of Lev for years, and I hit him up maybe over the course of five years, being like, hey, man, I think you'd be the best front man for Forest Lawn. And every time he was like, hell yes, I'm so down. And then we finally, like, actually pulled the trigger and met up, and it clicked right away, and things came together. Uh, yeah. yeah, it took five years, but it was, it was five years too long. I, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know how shit goes, and especially in big city, I was like always flattered that Joe thought of me. But you know, five years went by, and I was like, I always thought it was just you know party talk. But five years later, hit me up again, and uh, I was like, damn, that's real as fuck. So came in, jammed, and since then the band's been taking off, we've been moving, and uh, things have been really great. So, so, you know, this is, you know, your performances would be live on Facebook so people can watch it and, you know, they can watch the interview. So where, where can they go find your music? You know, where, where can they, they want to listen more? You got Spotify? Where, where? Yeah, we got Spotify. The, the band's called Forest Lawn. If you, if you search it, it'll come up. Um, the album title is self-titled Forest Lawn. And uh, we don't have Facebook. We have Instagram, Forest Lawn. It'll probably come up. But uh, other than that, I sh- I'm sure we're on Apple Music and and all the other bullshit like that. We got some shit on YouTube. We're happy to play a show here tonight because uh, it's our last show for a while. We're about to uh, record our next album. Really excited about that. It's going to be the new phase of the band. Really stoked. And what what everyone's been hyped on, the reason everyone's been, uh, you know, the, the recent hype and the recent, like, upsurge and shows and attendance and, like, uh, you know, things have felt really good lately. So we're excited to record the new record. So stay tuned for that. It's coming out soon. Yeah, maybe I'll be the first to offer album release party here. You know, you guys oh, yeah, let's do it. Sure, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, that, that, that was phenomenal, man. Yeah, Miss Olsen is great. I, I never. This is my first time in Oxnard, and it's been such a warm welcome, such yeah. a pleasant surprise. Everybody fucks with Miss Olsen for sure. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. yeah everyone I talked to was like, "Oh, that place is rad." Yeah, appreciate that. So, you did you, you uh, did you sing back in Texas? Yeah, I've been playing in bands. I mean, I'm from Austin, so like I've been playing in a variety of different types of bands since I was like ten or whatever. That's what everyone does there um for better or worse you know everyone there throw a rock hit a guitarist type of shit in austin yeah nowadays it's more about tech and comedy but i being born and raised there i was caught, caught the very tail end of the of i guess the the real shit people talk about but yeah i've been playing music forever and started with with uh with metal my first love first first uh passion in my bones so it's really it's really good to just dive into it and and really hone it and and put everything into it with yeah. a, with a great band like this you know pr- really proud yeah and yeah. excited yeah man so what you know i was watching you on the drums you know because i mean you're tall lengthy dude you know what i mean and one of my one of my all-time favorite drummers ever is danny carey Tool. Hell yeah, we just you know? saw we just him at the Staples center not oh, yeah. center but whatever the fuck they call it i went to vegas right, and saw yeah. him three, three days after that so it was, uh, Must yeah, I've probably seen Tool like 70 times, dude. It's right here it's on my floor. Tool That's Tool's dope. everywhere. Yeah, our, our first time was epic. Yeah, oh, man. We've gone to see Day them forever, song. man. Oh, they're incredible, dude. Oh, I mean, Danny carries the show. You know what yeah, I mean? He's, he's tall out as there fuck just too. like, fucking, oh, yeah, he's fucking <laughs> big as shit, dude. Yeah, well, he was wearing an LA jersey, right? He was. Shout, shout love. Yeah, shouting out Kobe yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what's, uh, yeah every every town he goes to he wears their their home uniform you know that's what I mean fun, I was back on the east coast you know so we you know every time Tool come around we go Philadelphia you know down to Baltimore then to DC and you know, yeah it's incredible but yeah he reminded me of him with uh, the length and the going at that's it great, the, the, that's a great compliment thank you so yeah, much yeah absolutely so you know uh People are going to watch this and they love your music and get into it and, you know, want to know more about you personally. So 
I always ask uh, the artists that come through, you know, what what inspired you and what made you want to bang away the drums, you know, start singing? What 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 you know was it some family? Was it an artist? You know, you know how how'd you get into music? Uh, personally, I've always loved music. My dad has great taste, and we listened to KLOS when I was young. He put it on like blast the volume, you know, just had excitement, passion for music, basically right there. But I saw this movie when I was about eight years old called That Thing You Do, produced by Tom Hanks, and okay. that movie really inspired me to play drums. So that, that's what got me started. My grandparents bought me a drum set, got me drum lessons at the city college, and then I joined middle school, high school, marching band, then like literally just started playing in metal bands right off the bat in middle school and yeah. never stopped. It's amazing the, the answers I get, you know, when I ask that question. You, know, you never know what inspires somebody. You know, never know oh, yeah, what you think of a uh, movie Tom from Hanks. Tom Hanks, you know what I mean? Like, we we were just arguing cool. about that last night. That's crazy <laughs> shit, man. It's crazy shit. How about you? <laughs> me, what got me into music? Uh, shit, bro. It was fucking Metallica. No lie. Yeah. I heard fucking, yeah. well, the first record I ever got uh, uh, with my own money, my own possession as a, as a little kid was uh, Led Zeppelin IV. Listen to fucking Stairway to Heaven. My little record player, my little fucking child record player on the headphones, over and over. Just listening to that song, I was obsessed. Fucking eight years old, and then uh, the second record I got was my dad, not a music head, but he bought me Master of Puppets, and he was like, "I never listened to this, but I thought you might like it." And then, game over. Yeah. Just like that changed everything, <laughs> yeah. and, and I've been a diehard since. Loves the homie that wear, wear a Master of Puppet shirt and then a Master of Puppet hoodie over it. <laughs> no shame no shame <laughs> no shame yeah and I'll rip badass. on other people for doing the same thing but when I do it it's cool <laughs> <laughs> you rock it yeah. yeah I remember for me man it was just, uh, awesome. so I was into like you know when I was younger so like, you know, we'd hear on the radio the, the early 80s you know what I mean so you'd hear Michael Jackson that, that I remember the first time I heard Oingo Boingo oh yeah I was yeah, like man. The fuck, this is different. You know what I mean? I was like, I was totally attached to that. That that, that just took me into metal and all that totally. shit. You know, it's, 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 it's sick. You say uh, that because yeah, Danny I mean, Elfman, dude, it was the whole thing. Yeah. It was just what, like what really uh, stokes me about Forest Lawn and what really like uh, makes it such a such a like big deal, such a, a deep actual thing. You know that uh, as an artist, I really can like sink into that. We all do is that we're all like like not just into metal and like. We're the only metal band that's going to these like metal shows that we're like, we don't listen to anything, anything metal. We all love it and have all like listened to that our whole lives. But what we really vibe on is like every other style of music. But right. you know, it, yeah. like we just oh, yeah. we're all like music heads and you know, not like to be uh, you know locked into one thing. But yeah, but, we, yeah. but just like we we just really share a passion for everything. The the greats. The mids, the cringe, everything. We KLF, all love it. Burn a fire, build a fire is our biggest song right now. Build, build a fire. KLF shouts out, shout yeah. out Kieran, Kieran J. Callanan. Yeah, I mean, I like my my Apple playlist. You know, I got anywhere from down tempo to punk to you know all, all across the board. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I mean, music music's that way. You know what I mean? There's it's crazy about how music can get you through kind of anything. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a death, it could be depression, it could be happiness, but the music is, you know, it'll take you to where you want to be. You know what I mean? It's, oh, yeah. it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, the get you a Marauder and get you started. Right, right before I played the Death Cover, that was, that reminded me of Austin, all the punk and metal bands I grew up playing with, they always cover Pull the Plug, so that like brought me right back home. That was like, that was cool, yeah. like right before us, it was sick. Cool. Well, hey, fellas, you know, man, you know, you guys are getting off stage, and uh, I appreciate you coming here, man, sharing your talents, dude. That was it was awesome to watch you guys, man. Awesome, man. And you, know, you get that new album going, you know, you're welcome to come here, man. You're welcome to come. Hell here. yeah! Thanks so much for having us. Like, yeah, Thanks, bro. bro. It was a pleasure. Yeah, That's absolutely. So much fun. All right, you guys have a good night, man. You guys got to check out Forest Lawn, man. They kick ass. Thank you guys again. Dungeon Metal. Out.